All right, welcome back. So in the recent news, another plane crashes near Cape Coral Bridge. This is another Cirrus SR-22 with the parachute and the BRS system. Um, we've been hearing more and more stories about how this system has been saving people's lives over the years. So I wanted to go over the benefits of it for the pilot and then also how we deal with it um, from a firefighter standpoint. After a long flight from North Carolina last night, the pilot of this single-engine plane realized over the river that he couldn't make the runway. This parachute you see lowering the pilot and his passenger safely down is actually something innovative, an exclusive feature of the Cirrus SR-22. The safety of the whole airplane parachute is a big appeal if not to the pilot, to the wife of the pilot. So as you can see, Robert Murray, he just um, was in this accident the day before, and he's very confident um, when purchasing that plane that that was um, something that he needed to have. And the very next day, he's out at the airport, as you see here, going on another flight. Um, so he's very confident as a pilot, knowing that he has that safety mechanism um, set there for him just in case. It's important to understand how a CAPS or similar parachute system works. In case of emergency, the pilot activates the system by pulling a red T handle. This action pulls a stainless steel cable which activates an igniter at the base of the rocket. The rocket ignites, pushes the compartment cover aside, and pulls the parachute package away from the aircraft at speeds in excess of 155 miles per hour. The 55-foot diameter round parachute canopy then inflates automatically and lowers the aircraft to the ground. There are two pyrotechnical devices that are used to operate most ballistic parachute systems, a rocket and an igniter. This red canister here, which some people think looks like a hydraulic cylinder, is the rocket motor itself. This is what's doing all the work and what's pulling out that parachute, that 55 pounds right here. Now this is a solid fuel rocket, so in this rocket motor, and I'll take the exhaust nozzle out of here, this is the nozzle, uh, it's filled with uh, solid fuel right in here. And you're dealing with a pound or so of fuel, maybe a little over. That's about uh, 1.2 seconds to 1.5 second burn time. That's, that's all it has to do its job. Get it out there quickly, get the parachute open. Yeah, so you can see it's a really good invention, but like they're saying, it's a rocket. So it's not something to be taken lightly, um, especially if a plane goes down and it hasn't been used yet. Um, you know, they said it's 155 miles per hour. There's um, two inches of free play. So once that um, slack has been taken away, then all you need is 7 16th of an inch and it'll, it'll ignite. So if you're using any kind of um, random cutters, like bolt cutters, to try cut this cord if you were on scene, um, it wouldn't take much for it to twist and, and go off. So it's just very important to really treat this as a live ordinance. And this is a rocket, and it's pretty, uh, pretty serious um, based off of those videos. Never cut into the top of the aircraft or the area from the top of the doors to the baggage compartment, as this is where the CAPS activation cable is located. If this cable is pulled or dislodged more than one quarter of an inch by cutting or penetrating gear, the pull of the cable could set off the rocket igniter and deploy the rocket. If so with the Cirrus SR-22, it's a CAPS system. That's the name of it, but it's basically the same thing. And if it's in a Cessna, then that's the BRS, Ballistic Recovery System. But it's just the same thing. It's, it's a rocket-propelled parachute um, that can be installed um, in, in any aircraft. So it's very important to make sure you talk to the pilots at your airport to see if they are flying with these um, systems installed. And then you can identify those aircraft, um, pre-plan them, and kind of be aware if those planes are go down or if there's issues on on the airport that you know you have systems in place to take care of those um, issues so here they're saying you know you want to the parachute is in the back activation cable is also running along here along the spine 
Um, there is, it's kind of underneath and tucked away, but there is a place in the back where there's three or four inches where you can, there's bare, bare cable where you would be able to cut it if you need to. But also if you do feel uncomfortable with this, if you don't have, usually we have at our station a Felco cutter which is uh, specially made to cut these kind of cords, which um, doesn't involve twisting the line too much. But if you do feel uncomfortable, you could um, go ahead and call some kind of bomb squad or agency that is better suited to dealing with these type of live ordinances if this problem should occur. It's not something we train on every day or see every day. So um, just know that you don't want to be cutting in like how the video said, you don't want to be cutting in with our tools to make entry um, on this aft side. You got the parachute, you got the rocket, it's all going to be in this back area. You got the fuel battery system. So you want to approach from the front and always stay clear of this, this back area. Uh, so here's the Felco cutter. It's kind of a special little tool. Um, but the takeaway is basically this is a quick video. You want to pre-plan the aircraft that may have these systems on your airport. Avoid cutting the roof if possible. Identify and properly treat it like a live ordinance. This is a rocket and it could do serious harm. Use the Felco cutters or contact a, a bomb squad. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, over the years I've been seeing more and more calls with people living through um, their planes basically going to crash and they have these systems in place where the parachute goes off and I haven't heard of any any reports of um, any accidents where people have have died I mean everybody have lived lived to tell the tale of um, how this system has saved their life and their aircraft so thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time